Hey Bob, quick update on your GT um, on the vibration and oil. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Okay, Bob. There's a rear main. Bearing's fine. It's naturally. It's it's the motor's been broken. It's only got maybe an hour of running time on it. No problem with the bearing. What I did find is that little pin right there goes in the cap, rear main cap right there. That's for a rope seal. That's what they came with from the factory. When the design came out aftermarket and factory came out with two piece seals, that pin has to be taken out. And for some reason, it didn't happen at the machine shop. It pushes up right here, there's a steel half ring right here and it's not going to give it all so what that did is it buried it up into the crank and burned the seal right up and that's that's where the leak's at so we got the pin out got it all cleaned up got the pan all cleaned up it's ready to go back together i'm going to be putting the top half and then lower half of the seal back in put uh, assembly lube on the bearing get it back up in on the crank on the block and retorque it Put the pan in, oil, start it, and then we'll be uh, we'll keep, it, keep keeping you updated on it. Hey Bob, we are making progress towards the firing up of your car. We got the exhaust in, as per my little carnage here on my thumb. You don't need to touch up on that. We got the exhaust in. The flex plate is bolted to the torque converter. Flex plate is bolted to the torque converter. We also have the shift linkage left to hook up, which is going to take not too long here. Drive shaft is in, exhaust is all bolted up front to back, as I said, with new donuts. Um, the only thing left to do is get this pan, since it has it all prepped and everything, with the new gasket right there. Uh, we got the new rear main right, or the, not the new rear main, but the rear main right there with the new seal. Throw all that in. And then fill her up with transmission fluid and oil, fire it up, and if you like to come underneath the car, I can show you more progress. As you can see, we got the lower brace bolted back in, exhaust is all bolted back up, drive shaft is in, e brake is in and adjusted appropriately. We got the cross member up here bolted in, everything's there, nice polyurethane mount. Uh, the uh, shift linkage is right here as well, all hooked up appropriately. Right there, off to, one second. right there, shift linkage is all hooked up. We also have the vacuum. Goodness, my brain, I, I had brain gas at the moment, forgive me. The uh, vacuum secondary, I believe is what that is. Probably can correct me on that. That's hooked up. Uh, we also have Let's see. Oh yeah, the exhaust is bolted up back there as well. We had to drop the entire, almost the entire assembly to get the transmission out just for ease of room. It was a bear. So we got that all good. Transmission is bolted from the bell housing. The motor up here. Transmission cooler lines are all in. Everything's good to go there. So the last thing we just got to do is get that pan up, get the idle arm and the whole steering rack assembly back up, steering ram back in and then the cross member that goes behind the pan and she will be ready to fire. Keep you updated. MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration.